now that we're open, we've got a few people coming back, but uh, both of them are saying, I want to wait till you're fully open. They don't want to come in and have to wear the mask. And, oh. and I can understand that. We're, we're going to have to work on it very hard. I mean, last week, um, staff called some of the folks that we call our regulars, you know, you know, those that were here just about every day, and, and talked to them and, and, and let them know that we were opening up. And that's when they said, well, some of them said, well, I'm just going to wait until we open completely. Others uh, said, I'll come once or twice a week. And, and what we've had to do because uh, we didn't want to um, overbook ourselves, um, we can only do 15 people for lunch. So we are doing alternating days, you know, depending on the, the, the first um, letter of your last name. So that if people want to come um, and, and be here for lunch, they can, um, they will have that opportunity to do that. No, but there is still that resistance out there. I'm on the equity task force for the county and um, but still within the African American community and the Hispanic community, you know, there's still that resistance. More and more are getting them all the time, but there's still a lot more that still need to get them. It's gonna, it's gonna take time to get back to, I don't, well, to say normal, but semi-normal. Yeah. I don't think we will ever get back to normal, not like we were before. You're still going to have some people that are skeptical. Um, so we just yeah. have to try to, to alleviate their fears and, and do what we can to, to get them to come in. Maybe not every day like some of them were doing, but at least once a week or twice a week yeah. and participate in some activities and stuff, especially those that are living alone.